Um, yeah, a couple things. Uh, first, I, w I was watching some of the replays from last mm -hmm. week, and I noticed that uh, you were asking me about my tallest cotton. Yeah. And uh, the fact that I wear it on the outside. Yeah. And I don't know if you're aware of this, mm -hmm. but you said, and I just couldn't let this go, mm -hmm. you said that most people wear it on the inside. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So I thought about it, and it didn't occur to me when you said it. But I want to understand why do you think that most people wear? What is your definition of most people? Most people that I've seen. <laughs> most people that you've seen. So I want to say this: it could be that in our neighborhood, in Pika Robertson, definitely. In Pika most Robertson, people most people are on the inside. But yeah. let's understand this: of the peep of the Jewish, the Jewish men who wear, yeah, it's this. By far, most wear it on the outside. Uh huh. This is. But uh, the reason why I'm picking on you. Uh huh. Is that's a, a I've heard, not necessarily about a tallest, okay? But I've heard it about like other things where it's very common that people don't realize um, what the majority is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's like a great in point. America, the majority of Jews who keep Shabbos, yeah, right, and who keep kosher, yeah. are Satmers. Satmer Hasidim mostly live in New York. Are the majority of from Jews in America? How many Satmars are there in America? Hundreds of thousands. More than a Chabad. Oh, far more than Chabad. There could be millions. I mean, I don't know. Nobody's you know nobody has like an accurate head count. You got to realize Satmars are spitting out kids like you know in litters. Okay, mm -hmm. so like you might have families of them in Monroe, in New York, or in uh, in Williamsburg that have like twelve kids each. So how do you count them all? Because you try to do it like a and they all start spitting them out so fast. I mean, you yeah. might have like an accurate number at one fixed moment in time, but right. that number is not constant. It's exploding. Yeah. It's exploding. And so I'm going to say that I mean it's a, it's it they 25 years ago it was a known fact, you know, the Satmers were the majority of of, of Fermis in America, and I'm saying by now it's exponential. Yeah, and uh, you'll often find if you go into a Satmar home, the the mother will say to the maid, you know, Maria, can you pick pick that up? And it's the latest baby that's come along. <laughs> okay. That's from the movie The Meaning of Life. Oh, okay. It's actually a joke about Catholics, but okay. I thought I'd adopt it. It's like, oh, can you get that? Right. Now, the, the thing I often hear this with, and this is why I brought it up, because I, I don't hear it with Tallis so much, but the place I always hear it is when they say, oh, well, most Jews, um, they say, how many Jews are really anti Zionists? Most Jews right. believe it. No, oh my God, no. Right. Most from Jews are anti Zionists. Well, they're more non-Zionists. Most, most from Jews are anti-Zionists because most from Jews in America are Satmar. I'm saying in America, mm -hmm. most are Satmar. So when you start thinking about this, whatever opinions other people have, right. whether they're Chabad or they're modern Orthodox or, or like me, which is like, you know, a mixture, <laughs> right? right? We're nothing compared, we're the minority, even if we all combine. So it doesn't matter what we think. If you're saying the majority of Jews think a certain way, or dress a certain way, or believe in a certain thing, you got to keep in mind that no, no matter what we are, unless we include the Satmars, we're the minority. Because my Satmars basically is one type of thought. Pretty much everybody thinks unilaterally there, or is that how you say it? Or mm -hmm. You know, and... Uh, that's what they do. They're very anti-Zionist, and they're and you know they wear their sitzit on the outside. So I just wanted to get that through because I knew that 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 sounded very funny to me. That I'll let you get away with that because it's not the majority. It's the majority here in Pico Robertson. It's totally different. This is an isolated area. Okay, very good. Anything else from last week? But... No, I'll pick on you about it later. <laughs> huh, okay, great. <laughs> so we're in the middle of the nine days, so which is in the middle of the towards the end of the three weeks which is a time of uh, increasingly restrictive morning practices leading to Tisha B'Av. Is there anything you find interesting about the nine days? Um, well, there's something that we should say about the nine days. The, uh, the nine days is an Ashkenazi thing. Oh. Yeah, it's an Ashkenazi minha. It's a custom amongst Ashkenazi Jews that the nine days, uh, which start today, which is Rosh Chodesh, today is the first day of the month of, of Menachem Av, and uh, right up until and through Tisha B'Av until Chatzos, which is like one o'clock the next day, there's certain things we have to refrain from. Yeah. 
for instance, we don't eat meat, we don't drink wine. Uh, uh, what other special things? I can't think. Oh, we don't to put on fresh laundry. Yeah. Um, I know there's something else I wanted to think. Oh, we don't go swimming, and I can't go surfing for the ten days. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's not the case by by uh, Spartan. Huh. Spartum, uh, you see, we're actually the exception, and I'm not, sh I'm not sure why it is this way. The halacha in Shulchan Aruch says, uh, but, uh, you know, Shavua Shachal Boya Tishabab, that the, in the week that Tishabab falls in from the start of the week, mm -hmm. you do these certain things. And that's what, that's what the halacha is, and that's what the Svarnam fall, uh, follow. And then it's... It's a it's a ramai. It's a it's a, it's a, for 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 Ashkenaz, which is us. It says started from the from the beginning of Rosh Chodesh. It starts from the Rosh Chodesh off. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know. But in this neighborhood, there's a, a lot of Persians. Yeah. You're gonna see that this week they're not following the, the nine days. So you know, if you don't know, you're gonna walk around and go, oh, look at this guy. Look what he's doing. But they, hey, they don't start until Saturday night. Ah, uh, so which is 48 hours before. I don't know. <laughs> well, Tisha B'Av is Monday night. So they only have to do this, I guess, yes, for, for Sunday. No That's wonder it. they seem so happy. Yeah, they don't have the same problem we have. But you know what? It's okay, because in a few weeks, they're going to be doing uh, 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 Slichos, right. starting Rosh Chodesh Elo. One month from the day, they start Slichos every day for 40 days. Okay, that so, is tough. Yeah, so that's... The like, extra 30 minutes. Every day, you got to wake up early. So... Uh, <laughs> For a month and a half, so so I just wanted to say that, and so basically, you know, we have to refrain from a few extra things for this week. It's not the end of the world. It's not killer. It's doable, no? Yeah. Going without meat for a week? How bad is that? I'm vegetarian, so. So you don't even feel it. Right. You're definitely. vegetarian for yes. Yeah? Okay. Um, you know, and for me, surfing without a, I'm not happy about it, but what can I do? And what's the other one? Um, fresh laundered clothes. I mean, that's really not a big deal. We're a single man. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. whatever. So, I mean, that's what we do, and then next week we're going to have Tisha B'Av, which is, we discussed is going to be a problem for our scheduling. Yeah. Because 7 o'clock, our time next week is Tisha B'Av for everybody on the East Coast already. They're going right. to be in the heart of Tisha B'Av. Right. So, um, you weren't, one of the rules on the first night of Tisha B'Av, well, on, when Tisha B'Av is, you're not allowed to learn Torah. Right. You know, so... But you can learn Tisha B'Av. You can learn, you can learn, learn like, a, uh, 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 Gittin. And laws of mourning. Yeah, laws of mourning and, and getting, which is the story of the temple falling and everything. Or we could like talk basketball. Can you talk basketball? Probably better not. So, uh, do you want to say what Tisha B'av is about, or? Yeah. So Tisha B'av is the Jewish day of mourning for the destruction of the first temple in 586 before the Common Era, destruction of the second temple. Is ascribed to this day in year 70 of the Common Era. Uh, the Bar Kokhba rebellion was put down in 135 of the Common Era in Betar. Uh, the Jews' expulsion from Spain, the Jews' expulsion from England, I think. Uh, various tragedies uh, in Jewish history, things happening at the Holocaust. Anyway, it's where we kind of ascribe and put a lot of the bad things that have happened to the Jewish people, we, we ascribe them to this day of, of the 9th of Av. And it goes back to uh, the spies and uh, Canaan. Uh, so it's got, it's a day in, in near the middle of summer where, where Jews mourn primarily ostensibly for the destruction of the two temples and we no longer have a temple where we can sacrifice to God. As the summer gets hotter in the northern hemisphere, Judaism gets sadder. So we have a progressively increasing rigor of uh, mourning restrictions, particularly upon Ashkenazi Jews, in the three weeks leading up to Tisha B'Av. And uh, then right after Tisha B'Av, we have Shabbat Nachamu, which is a Sabbath of consolation and the, the mood of the Jewish calendar shifts to a much more upbeat uh, mood as we move into Rosh Hashanah. Very nice. So you want to take the exception with some? No, 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 no. I would add a couple things. Yeah. I, mean, I want everybody to appreciate the magnitude of that both temples fell on the same day. That both were burned down, you know, 400 years apart. And the, and the second group that came in, the Romans didn't even know who Nebuchadnezzar was. They never right. heard of him. They don't right. care, you know. And, and 